Hi, welcome to my short tutorial on how to make a life counter system. Maybe you want to play it a die three or five times before game over occurs. Um, I'm going to teach you how to build that system quite easily here today. So we're just going to bring out a Dojira um, first off. Any asset will do and we'll give it a predator behavior. If you want to edit the logic and just increase the max hunger to a thousand so it's constantly attacking the avatar. Otherwise, it will just attack twice and then walk off. Um, now we'll put down a numpad. Select the numpad and we'll get rid of all the default on it and give it a message broadcaster and we'll give it a toggle behavior. Um, we'll go ahead and edit the logic and we're going to wait for broadcast and we're going to wait for the message death. And the message we're going to send is die one. We're going to give it a tag def as well. So what you need to do here is go to global parameters, click the controller, click components, and then on the avatar's profile, uh, message on def is def and center tags def. So when the avatar dies, it will send a message def to all the tags that have def. Excellent. Since this one has the message def, it's going to listen for the, uh, that message, and then when it does, it's going to send the message die one. We'll go ahead and duplicate with control D, and we're going to change this to die two, and we're going to switch that to off, and we'll turn it on when it has die one. We will control D again, and duplicate that item. We're going to change this to die two, and message to send is die three, and then we'll duplicate again, control D, and we'll get rid of everything that's on it. And we'll put the def defeat, and we'll put say, uh, die three. We don't need that tag. So when die three occurs, it's gonna send a defeat message. So we'll go ahead and test that out. So Dojira will come and kill us, that's one. Kill us again, that's two, and kill us one more time, that's three, and we got game over. Easy as that. Um, you can go to rules, put on a quest, add quest, we'll say uh, life counter, it will auto launch, um, we don't need a description, or the other way around, you can put it here, life counter and get rid of the description. Uh, the counter will be deaths. The tag will be avatar. We'll say three lives. Um, and we'll just say requires message. So now when we press tab, a quest will come on. Life counter. We've died two times. We've died three times. You can see it's counting uh, the lives on the left, on the right here, if you want to have a counter for the player. And again, if you just want to increase that, all you do is take this control D and then you just change die three and then add die four, control D and then we go die four and die five. And then on the defeat component, we change that to die five. Uh, we'll move the zero out of the way a bit and change the rules so instead of three we do five. So all we've done here is we changed it from three lives to five lives. Bear in mind you can't use the teleport system in this setup because when you die, uh, you, when you teleport you die. So it will count as a life. So bear that in mind. There are ways around it but I won't show you in this tutorial. So here's another life counter. That's two. That's three, that's four, and there's your fifth death, and game over. Hope you found this tutorial useful. If you have any questions, just message me on Discord. Have a great day.